We begin with the gun violence that continues to plague the city. Tonight, a 16-year-old is dead after a double shooting on the Lower East Side. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon spoke to his family and has the latest. The shooting happened near this busy intersection, and the teenage victim actually collapsed in front of the construction site here behind me. He's now been identified as 16-year-old Isaiah Levine, and his family says it's heartbroken by what happened to him. To be honest, I have no words. I feel like I can't breathe. He's crying, looking at his pictures all over the house. As a memorial grows around his Manhattan apartment building, Isaiah Levine's sister, Jaylise Hernandez, remembers her brother, one of 15 siblings. His main priority was his family. He was a joker, like, he always wanted to make you happy. He likes to hang out with his friends. He, that's one thing he put for a lot of things was his friends. He loves his family, especially Mama Love. Loved her most. Police say the shooting happened near the intersection of Delancey and Suffolk Streets just after 8.30 Friday evening. Officers found the teenager unconscious after being shot in the face. He was taken to Bellevue Hospital but could not be saved. A 24-year-old man was also shot but is expected to recover. Witnesses say the intersection was packed with people enjoying the warm evening when the shooting happened. And we just heard five cops. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Meantime, sources tell us Levine was a member of the Pitt Street Crew Gang. He had at least eight prior arrests, including two robberies. His family says he had been incarcerated for the past eight months, but had been released 10 days ago. Excited, that's why he wanted to be outside. He was excited. He had been in there so long. Levine's death is the latest in an alarming rise of teenagers killed by guns. According to the NYPD, fatal shootings of victims aged 17 and younger nearly tripled this year compared to the same period last year. Levine's family says he was a good person and didn't deserve what happened to him. It just needs to stop. That's it. But it's too late to speak now. It's one of my own. We love him with all our heart. He's never forgotten. And that's Isaiah. Love him. Police have not said whether the shooting was gang related or if Levine or the other male victim were targeted. Meantime, they have also not released any information about possible suspects. On the Lower East Side, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News.